guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're hopping into the third episode of the seventh season of Smallville Fears. Um, last time we were, or Clark was introduced to Kara and uh, she is now on the farm. Of course, everybody knows that she's Supergirl and they went after her ship, but now the government has the ship and, um, or had the ship, but it disappeared and they have the crystal now. Um, so... That'll be interesting to see how they find the crystal again and everything like that. It's interesting that now they're bringing in, like, the government to be a part of it and not just Lex. So that's going to be fun to see. We also got to see Lana in China and Lex uh, basically tracked her down and we got to see how she survived. And she basically, like, took the clone that Lex creepily made of her and uh, blew the clone up so she could escape. And, uh, yeah, she ended up in China. But he basically said, hey, you can come back to Smallville. So I guess, you know, Lana's going back to Smallville now. So that didn't last long at all, did it? Um, and I mean, those are like the two main things that I can remember. So uh, I, I know I missed some things, but that's what I remember most. So um, yeah, I'm excited to just get into this and continue this season. So if you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. So without further ado, here we go. This is the third episode of the seventh season of Smallville Fierce. Let's go. My father sent me here with a mission. She, she's adopted Clark's fashion sense. You just have to fit in. With him. Jimmy? Jimmy? I, right? Like, whoa. Oh, no. <laughs> calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, God. She x-rayed it. Come on. And that's a harm. That is a harmless use of the powers. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. The sweet corn pageant. Oh, Shelby! That didn't take very long. Dude, I don't even think he knows she's alive. Right? Yeah, she's alive. Oh, shit! I'm so sorry. Oh, the irony of that statement. You're gonna rush in there and try and save someone, even if it means putting your own life in danger. Yeah, it's who he is. Yeah, it's a little ironic. You can someone else say that. Miss Clark and I are on the same page. That's true. Then you stay here at the farm with me. But I have to warn you, my life has become a little more. <laughs> yeah, there's a girl in a bikini walking around your house right now. Complicated. Well, this is my cousin, Kara. Say hello to the next Miss Sweetcorn. <laughs> uh, when I talked about fitting in, I was thinking of something with more clothes. This is definitely not blending in. Fine. You said now. I guess I don't have to ask which side of the family you come from. Yeah, that's true. I was stuck in some cryogenic coffin, wasting the best years of my life. I don't want to miss out on anything else. Now, if you're anything like me, you're going to do this whether I want you to or not. Mm-hmm. But until you want to control your abilities. Okay, fair compromise. At least you're being at least a little bit reasonable. Like, let her have some fun. Nice. Talk about control. Let's see you put a mug in this melon. Yeah, she doesn't have control of that quite yet. You're not ready. And I'm the next stage. There's too many things that can go wrong. You want me to fit in? No problem. But I'll do it in my way. There's no problem. I have to care of it. I was wondering. Yours looks so good. Do you want me? I'm sorry, sweetie, but you need help with my other sister, Ouch! What are you talking about? She's gorgeous. I don't know what they're talking about. Oh! I understand that you're a man. Uh, the Medusa photo. I want to the government be interested. Because you are. That's a legit reason right there. I mean, he's interested in all kinds of things. I'm really glad you're back. Me too! I'm glad Jimmy's back. There you go. This has media freak written all over it. Frosted beauty queen! Genius. Right! Panda boy, good. Holograph. Listen. Tomato, tomato. Hustle down to Smallville. Take Panda boy with you. Get this to the other ice princess. Before any of the other papers, you might just get to follow in your cousin's footsteps. How much blunt trauma do you think a statement at the back of the head would cause? Don't you have closer? 
Oh god. I'm glad they're just as annoyed with him as I am. Clark, don't you think you're being a little hard on Kara? Right now she's about a fireball away from lighting up the whole town. This is how you've had to live your whole life, isn't it? Hi there. Yeah. Well, Justin, sooner or later, Kara's got to figure out how to do the same thing. Your parents trusted you enough to live your life and find that balance on your own. Don't you think Kara deserves the same chance? All mm. conversations I imagine having to be about my powers. This was not one of them. No, right? Absolutely not. <laughs> I can't believe I ever worried that you wouldn't understand. Looks like you don't know me as well as you thought you did. Are you sure no one saw you? She went out. That's what I'm supposed to do, huh? Maybe not kill her? Just stick to the planet. Well, you're down a girl, so... Ice girl is icing Iceman. Well, I guess it's his brother that's icing. You get my... Oh, no, no, no. Gotta be cold. Uh, a little... Mommy's a little discretion there, girl. Thanks what are you doing here? You haven't been here in years. Don't sit down. You won't be staying long. Oh, damn. The DA has agreed to not press charges. The evidence has been destroyed to free me. Alright, so that solves that problem. I suppose I can ask you to somehow see that every horrible thing I did was because I truly do love you. She doesn't listen to that anymore. You can't test that. Nope. Of course. You faked a pregnancy to get her to marry you. Oh, like, that's unbelievable. I don't want your money. Should I soon exclude the 10 million you skillfully siphoned out from under me? Yo! I was trying to escape. Well, she already took from you. I'm not admonishing you, I'm applauding you. It's not every day someone's clever enough to manage a coup like that. <laughs> Although I'm not sure Clark would see it that way. Yeah, probably not. Meet the Leonard girls. I don't get it. There's some separate white turn each other on our floor. Our meteorological misfits have traversed the entire Midwest. And every time, there's a major heist in the city. There it is, yeah. It's just absolutely brilliant. You're a very talented girl. And I'm just like everyone else. No. Yeah. You have power. And now you want to be her friend, huh? Here's a photo of the gold before it was stolen. Oh, it's a Kryptonian um, necklace. Already broke in, huh? Oh, she got in already. Oh, without telling them. That's true. It's like the fifth. Down the drain. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, that was dumb. <laughs> but I fear it's inevitable. If you research yourself, it's not a very way you bring that yourself. I think it's time to reach out to the government for help. Trust the government? Yeah, right. Small bit of blue, miss. Sweet corn. Get her hand. Yay! Look at her all happy. Hold on. Right? I was thinking I had to get to the map before you lost it. She should have stolen the map at all. Even if the treasure leads to its Kryptonian? Mm-hmm. That's it. It doesn't belong to you. It does Like, now. that's mine. It's literally everywhere. Why would you stay in this town? You're not as tough as you talk, but I am. Get him, Kara! Let's go! Nice kick, let's go. That's it? You're telling me. You were freaking telling me for seven seasons. He could have been doing that. I'm pissed. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. You saved me. No. Yeah. And even though it's not the way I would have done it, I know that you need to figure out how to use your abilities your own way. Hello, Clark. You're not human, no matter how much you want to be. I may have been born on another planet to care, but Earth is my home. Everyone I love, everyone I care about is here. But we both know what's going to happen to everyone that you love. I'm sorry, but if you yeah. think you can just spend your life hiding here on the farm and growing old with Lana, you're fooling yourself. She already sees it. He's destined for much bigger things than that, and we all know it. We found her. Just where you said she would be. No. I've seen enough now to know that sooner or later they all snap. Oh, uh, no. From now on, it's open season in the infected. Sorry, I... Maybe uh, a year ago it would have been different. Clark, I was afraid that you wouldn't forgive me for marrying Lex. Or for leaving. That's pretty tough to forgive. I've made so many mistakes. We both made mistakes. This is our chance to start over. <sighs> Show! Clark, I came back here for you. For us. We've... I never want to let the past come between us again. So I want to cling to you. Can't do that, my dude. Supergirl already told you that. I want to 
to thank you for saving my life. I know it was you at the river. Uh, uh, uh be careful, girl. Come on, be careful. My car. Now both kids, I just realized that both of them have now there. saved Lex in the water, ripping off a car. I just now realized that. Your secret's safe with me. I've already protected you. Like I would have protected others close to me if they would have told me the truth. I just need you to be honest with me. No, 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 no. Do not trust him. Do not trust him. The only secret I've got is that I make a lousy cappuccino. Sooner or later, I'll find out the truth. Make it later. Make it later. Make it later. Or are you a warning? All right. Let's go and talk about it. Well, that was the third episode of the seventh season of Smallville Fears. Um, I thought it was an okay episode. Not my favorite. Definitely my least favorite so far of the season, to be honest. I get kind of bored in the middle of it. I'm not going to lie. Um, the Powerpuff Girls, just that whole storyline just kind of really bored me. I didn't care. They were so generic, bad guy villain. Like, this really felt like a season two or three villains that, that came into this, to be honest. Like, um, I do like the idea, though, of Kara trying to um, adjust to this new world that she's in and Clark trying to help her and... And I loved the scene with uh, they're in the barn with the watermelon. That was great. It definitely reminded me and brought me back to scenes, um, you know, with Clark and his dad. So, you know, all of a sudden Clark is taking on this Jonathan role with uh, Kara. And that's awesome. Like, I love that dynamic. It's a new dynamic that we get to see Clark in. It definitely goes back to episodes when he's dealing with children. And just, he's great about it. And I love the fact that he, um, I do love, and it goes to the a scene in the kitchen with, with Clark and Lana when she's like, you got to let her, you got to find that balance or you got to let her go out and live her life. You can't control her forever. Like, you got to let her make this make these decisions. And um, it's a very uh, mature way of thinking and it was a great thing that uh, Clark needed to hear and I'm really glad she said it because you know she's supposed to be a teenager so I mean she just wants to fit in she wants to have some fun she wants to find herself and I understand Clark's apprehension because he has been living on earth his whole life or most of his life and sorry hold on <coughs> it's a water um, and he's just been trying to hide everything. So I understand him not wanting her to blow his cover, but also, you know, I agree that he needs to loosen the leash a little bit here. Um, I just didn't like the villains. I did like the plot line of everything like that. Maybe the Kryptonian symbol thing will come into play. Uh, basically, now more Kryptonians have been on Earth before, like... How many do we have? Because he's the last son of Krypton. Apparently he is not. There are a lot um, that have come to Earth before him. So, um, well, I, I guess we'll see what happens with that. And then we have the government is uh, looking for Kara. And they're asking Lex because he has the Medusa photo of, uh, of her. And uh, Lex figures out who it is. So he is narrowing in on the Kents yet again. And of course, the parallels of Kara now saving Clark, or saving Lex, and Clark had saved him before. Basically the same way of like ripping off the roof of a car to get him out from underwater. Um, so that was cool. Um, so that's a cool like parallel I thought the show did that I really like. Um, I like, like the little nuances of it and the little things I liked, but the general overall story arc of this episode, I didn't like. I just found the whole pageant thing and the Powerpuff Girls really boring. I didn't care. Like, they like they were taken down so quickly. And on top of that, you are telling me, show, that Clark could have just heat-visioned. He could have just seen the kryptonite and just heat visioned it and exploded and everything would have been fine we are he's had this in season two and you're now saying that he could have done that for six seasons are you kidding me oh. inconsistencies what is happening um so yeah 
Um, and then we have Lex basically clearing Lana's name. And she stole $10 million from him. Like, okay, Lana. I, I mean, hey, you know what? He put you through hell. You know what? Like, I, I kind of applaud you for that. Like, shit. Steal his money. Let's do it. Like, hey, you married him. It's alimony. It's, it's divorce. It's, you know... Get your money, girl. You know what? I'm not. I'm not that upset with that decision. Like I was like, all right, we're cool. Um, I just hate the decision of, and yes, I wanted to do this last because I wanted to get all the good things that I loved about this episode. And but of course, uh, the con of it. Oh my God, we're in the seventh season. Lois has been here since season four. She started in season four. We are getting in, she's been in three whole seasons. And we're going back to Klana, who doesn't work, who is very toxic, who just, they don't go together. And everybody knows that he's going to end up with Lois. Everybody knows it. So why are we dragging this in? I think I said this in my uh, recap that... It's, if your ex, a person you totally love, marries your ex-best friend who is now your mortal enemy, I don't care her reasoning. I, I understand that, like, she was blackmailed into it, but before, she said yes before any of that. She said yes to marrying him before any of that happened. So... Like, I don't, I would not be able, I mean, I might be able to not really get past it, but like, not, I could eventually, I think at some point be cordial, but other than that, actually wanting to physically get back together with them? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Show, show, why are we going back to this well that you have done so many times? It doesn't work. It is tired. I am tired of them. Give me something new. Give me something new. Like, this is why I like Kara, because she's new, and it brings a new dynamic. And it creates a new family. And now Clark is the one that has to mentor Kara, which is a cool dynamic, which is awesome to see. This Kalana has been going on forever. We know it's not going to work. So I feel like going back to this, it's almost wasting our time at this point. But, but, but. We're just going to move on now. So um, as an episode, I thought it had a little. Um, oh, yeah. And also the uh, the triangle between Kara, Jimmy and Chloe. I hate that. That's stupid. What? Jimmy of all people. Like, OK, I'm not saying Jimmy isn't like, OK, now I feel bad because like. Let's be real. 100 percent. Laura Vandervert is however you say her name. In my opinion, she's much prettier than Allison Mack. Allison Mack is an ugly man. I mean, she's very pretty too, but it's just like, I feel like they're on another level. Like, I don't, I don't know. And this is going to sound like a horrible person. I feel like a horrible person right now. Um, but I just don't see it. I don't, I don't, I don't see why they're doing it. Basically, this seems unnecessary is what it is. Okay, that's what it is. It's like this whole thing right here is just completely unnecessary. Um, and I don't like this triangle they're creating either. So, um... Like I said, there were a lot of small things that I really liked about it. A lot of character dynamics, um, Lex finding Kara, um, the dynamic of Clark basically mentoring Kara, which is cool. And Kara like trying to find herself. Um, I just didn't like the way they went about it. And I thought it was a story, a boring storyline. And the Powerpuff Girls were very generic. One note, I didn't, I could care less about them. I didn't care. Um, so all in all, I'm going to give us a seven, to be honest. It, um... Not really my cup of tea. So if you love this episode, then great. Um, but uh, I did not. Sorry. Um, so in, in terms of the tally board, we have a plus one for person of color characters because the purple Powerpuff Girl um, was black. So now we are at 32. We are at a plus one for hospital visit because Jimmy went to the hospital. And then we have pseudo suit and reverse pseudo suit, uh, 55 for the pseudo suit with the blurred suit, 
bloop, 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 blue shirt in red jacket. And then we have a plus one for reverse pseudo suit with the red shirt and blue jacket, which gives us to 41. So if you want to see my full reaction, you can head on over to my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Or you can hang out right here on YouTube. That's perfectly fine. Just be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you for the next episode.